Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to make this beautiful dress. I got inspired by a picture that I saw on Pinterest. And for this one, I choose this color, it's bright yellow. And we will also need white and a little bit of green. Uh, but for the video today, I will be using Okay, the color is aqua. And here is the information. And you will also need a little uh, pearls like this, but this is optional, just to put over here on the center of the flower. We need a 5.5 millimeter hook, six millimeter hook, scissors and uh, measuring tape. We're going to start by making a slip uh, knot on the hook. And we are going to make 52 chains. One, two, three, four, five. Just continue making until you have 52. Okay, I have my 52 chains and measures at 13 inches. Now we are going to make a slip stitch uh, on the first chain, making sure this the chain is not twisted. Okay, now grab this chain here and make the slip stitch. Now we're going to start by making one and two chains. This is no count as a stitch. Go back to the same stitch and make one double crochet. Make one double crochet on each of the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five and six we have in total one two three four five six and seven stitches now on the next chain we are going to be making one b stitch make one double crochet chain one and two go back to the same stitch and make one double crochet this is our first corner now make one double crochet on each of the next 10 chains. One, two, okay, after the B stitch, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 double crochets. Now on the next chain, we are going to be making one B stitch. So it's one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. Now we're going to be making one double crochet on each of the next uh, 14 chains. One, two, three. Continue until you have 14 double crochets. Okay, I have a uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 14 stitches. Now we are going to make the V stitch. It's one double crochet, one and two chains. Go back to the same stitch and make one double crochet. Now we are going to be making one double crochet on each of the next ten uh, chains. One, two. Okay, I have my ten stitches here. Two, four, six, eight. In 10. Now we're going to make the last corner, one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. Now we're going to finish making one double crochet on the last seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven now we're going to slip stitch on top of the first double crochet made chain two and again the chain two doesn't count as a stitch now for the round number two 
We are going to be making one double crochet on each stitch to then chain two. Starting on the first double crochet here. If you make this round, the first round, and uh, like with the right amount of stitches, you don't have to worry about counting the stitches now. Just make one double crochet to the chain two loop. Okay, on the chain two loop, we are going to make a shell with two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. One, two, chain two, and make two more double crochets in the same space. This is how we are going to be working the corners now. Continue making one double crochet on each stitch to the ne next chain two loop. Now make the shell with two double crochets. One, two, two chains and two double crochets. Continue making one double crochet to the next chain two space. Make the shell on the chain two space. And continue making one double crochet on each stitch to the next chain two loop. And repeat. Okay, I am here on the chain two. I have my last corner and now I will finish the day round making one double crochet and then I will slip stitch on the first double crochet. I will continue working the same pattern starting with uh, making chain two and then one double crochet on each stitch to the chain two space in here. I will make uh, <clears throat> two double crochets, chain two and two double crochet. I will continue making the double crochet to the next chain two and I will repeat this around um, for a total of four uh, rounds so I will be back with you when I am done with my four rounds I finished here I have one two three and four rounds now we are going to be closing the sleeves on the round number um, five we are going to be changing the stitch here. Now we're going to make one chain and we're going to make one single crochet in the first stitch. And with single crochet, we're going to be working to the chain two loop. So just make one single crochet on each stitch. And now here, we are going to be folding the slip like this. Insert your hook on the chain two space here. Take the other chain two loop here and make one single crochet. Now continue with one single crochet on each stitch to the next um, chain two loop. Take the, I already finished with the single crochet here on the front part. Now I will go take the chain two like this. Take the other chain two like that. And now just make one single crochet. And finish this round making one single crochet on each stitch to end. finish here I will slip stitch on the top of the first single crochet I will make one and two chains uh, this doesn't count as a stitch go back to the same stitch and now we're going to be making double crochets 
So make one double crochet on each stitch around. Okay, I have here um, eight stitches marked. I have one, two, three, and four in the front. Five, six, seven, and eight on the back. If you don't have these uh, markers, you can use just a little piece of uh, another color. And well, I mark these stitches because I need to increase um, eight stitches in order to get the pattern. So on each marker, we are going to be making two double crochets instead of one. So we'll start by making, this is the round number seven. On the first, um, I will make one double crochet. I have a marker on the next uh, stitch. I will make two double crochets here, one and two. The chain two here doesn't count as a stitch. So now I will continue making one double crochet on each stitch to the next marker. Okay, I have the marker here, so I will make two double crochet in the same stitch, like this. Continue with double crochet to the next marker. Okay, one more. And I have my marker here. I will make two double crochets, one and two. And I will continue working like this around. Okay, when we finish here the slips, we have on the round six, we have um, 58 stitches. And I need 66 for the pattern. That's why we mark four stitches here. Okay, now we're going to start uh, working the pattern for the skirt so for the round number eight start by making one and two chains and uh, this is not count, going to count as a stitch go back to the same stitch and make one double crochet make one double crochet on each of the next um, four stitches in total we need to have five double crochets one two three and four one more five now for the next stitch, we are going to be making front post double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook here, go to the back of the stitch and grab the stitch like this. And make one front post double crochet. Continue making one double crochet on each of the next five stitches. We have two, three, four, and five. So now make the front post double crochet on the next stitch, like this. One, two, three, four, and five. Now front post double crochet. This is how we're going to be working for the round number eight. I did my one two three four and five double crochets now i have one left i have i will make the front post double crochet i will slip stitch on top of the first double crochet made and now for the round number um nine i will be changing the hook to the six millimeters we're going to be starting by making the chain two. Go back to the same stitch and make one more double, one double crochet. Remember that this chain two doesn't count as a stitch. And for this round, we are going to be increasing one stitch between the front post double crochet. So it doesn't matter what you increase the stitch, just make sure you are increasing. I will increase mine here. So instead of having five double crochets between front post double crochets, we are going to have now six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I will make the front post double crochet and I will continue making my double crochets here. 
I will be increasing on the third stitch here. Got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it doesn't matter where you want to increase the stitch, you can do it at the beginning, at the end, or in, in the middle. And I changed the size of the hook because I want the skirt to have a little bit more volume. And now I will make the front post of crochet. And this is how we're going to be working the round number nine, increasing one stitch between the front post of crochet. Okay, for the round number 10, we are going to be increasing one more stitch here. I will start by making one double crochet on the first one. And we can increase the stitch right on top of the front post double crochet. So here I will make one regular. This is the front post double crochet, one regular double crochet. And then I will make the front post double crochet. Now we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stitches between the front post double crochet. You can make your increase on any of the stitches here. I will make this one right here, it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I will continue working like this around for the number 10. Okay, I already started the number 11. We're going to be increasing one more stitch here. Okay, now we will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stitches between the front post over crochets. And this is how we're going to be working for the round number 11. Increasing one stitch only between the front post double crochets. I decided to change the hook to the 6.5 millimeter now and I will continue working exactly the same pattern increasing one stitch between the front post double crochets and I will be back with you when I am finished with the skirt. This is the round number 11. So I did 12, 13, 14 and 15 and I was increasing one stitch between the double, uh, the front post double crochets. So in the last uh, round, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now I will continue with the same pattern, but no more increases. Okay, so from now on, no more increases. Okay, so just make one double crochet on each stitch. No more increases. And I will be back with you and I will tell you how many more uh, rounds I did. Okay, so no more increases. Just like this, uh, one stitch on each stitch around. Okay, here is the round number 11, length 12, 13, 14, and 15. 
the 15 was the last one that we increased so we end up with four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve stitches between the um, double crochet. And then on the number 16, I did uh, no more increases for the 16, 17, and 18. Now we are going to change the pattern for the round number 20. We are going to start by making one chain. Go back to the same stitch and make one single crochet. Now we are going to skip um, one and two stitches and on the third we are going to be making six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All in the same space. Now we're going to skip one and two stitches, make one single crochet on the next stitch. Skip two stitches, one and two, and on the third, make six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Skip one and two, and on the next stitch, make one single crochet. We're going to be working like this for the round number 20. I finished here with my last shawl. Now I will skip these two stitches, and here I have the single crochet. I will insert my hook and I will bring in my white yarn. And now we're going to change the pattern again. We start by making chain one, make one single crochet into the same stitch, and now make three chains one, two, and three. We are going to skip one and two stitches, and on the next, we're going to make a single crochet one, two, and three. Skip two stitches and make one single crochet on the next stitch. One, two, and three. And I will make one single crochet. One, two, and three. Skip two stitches. One, two. And on the third, make one single crochet. And just keep repeating this around. And I will meet you at the end. Make one slip stitch on top of the single crochet. And now go make one slip stitch here inside this um, chain three loop. Chain one and make one single crochet. One, two and three chains. Go to the next loop and make one single crochet. Chain three and make one single crochet. This is how we're going to be working for the round 21, 22. Okay, I am done here with the round 21. This is what I'm going to do. I will just, this is my last loop. I did my chain three. I will just go to the chain three space here and I will place a marker. And I will just continue making the chain three and my single crochet. And I will be doing the same around until I have um, five rounds with the white color. This is my last round. One, two, and two chains. I have my marker right here, so I will just make one slip stitch here and fasten off. Okay, now for the flowers, we're going to make one uh, magic circle. I will be using the 5.5 millimeter hook. chain one and now uh, we're going to be making nine single crochet into the loop one two 
three. I did nine single crochets. Now I will close the loop here and I will, I cut my yarn. I will go to the first uh, single crochet made. Insert your hook and now I will attach the white collar. Okay, when you're done with the nine petals, just make one slip stitch here. And fasten off. I will be making five uh, daisies. I will put one, two, three, four, and five. And uh, I will just uh, hot glue it to the dress. For the petals, I just with my fingers, I would do something like this, and I will make sure that to put the hot glue around the petal. And for this one, uh, I will just put hot glue and put it right there on the flower. Or if you opt for the um, round ones, you will need some uh, yarn and needle. I'm sorry, <laughs> thread and needle. And just um, put it in the center of the flower. So when you're done making the five daisies, just you can sew it to the dress too, but it's going to take uh, longer. And if you want to place one more daisy here, you will have to make um, a total of six flowers. And then I will show you now how to make the leaves. You will need seven of these. I will be using the 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We're, we are going to start on the third chain from the hook. 1, 2, and on the third, make one half double crochet. And now make double crochet. 1, 2, 3, Four, and now we're going to be making two half double crochets one and two half double crochet and on the last uh, chain we're going to be making one single crochet chain one go to the same to the space here and make one slip stitch and fasten off okay, you will need a total of seven of these and I am using a uh, this is a lime, lime green. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Uh, let me know if you, if you have any questions. Don't forget to give us a like and sub subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you and have a wonderful day.